<laughs> okay. Uh, good morning, everybody, and thank you for coming out for this special announcement today. Our friends at the media, thank you for joining us, staff, engineers, MPP Verniel. So we'll get started. I would like to introduce MPP Diane Verniel from Kitchener Centre, and Diane is um, also the Parliamentary Assistant to the Minister of Research and Innovation, and she's bringing special announcement here today, so I'd like to welcome her up to the podium. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. I am delighted to be here today. I come bearing good news, and I promise you it is not an April Fool's joke. However, I, I wonder about this weather and what's going to be happening this week, and we're getting snow, right? Maybe that is the April Fool's joke for us. Well, I am pleased to be here in the town of Minto for this very special announcement. Our family has a family cottage in Southampton, so from Kitchener to Southampton, it's exactly two hours. So Harriston was always the mandatory stop when you have small kids. Uh, but I'm glad to come here to the town hall and to see what, what else you have here, because I am very familiar with the ladies' room at Tim Hortons on the highway, but it's good to know that there are other wonderful spots in town here. Well, as you are aware, our government has made investing in infrastructure a top priority. Communities like Minto rely on a network of roads, bridges, water systems, telecom networks, and other very critical infrastructure. And the cost of keeping them in working order, as you know, in a community this size can be very challenging. I'm proud to serve in a government that is doing something to address this need to help municipalities. As a testament to this commitment, we are making the single largest infrastructure investment in the province's history. More than $160 billion over 12 years, an investment that is creating 110,000 jobs each year across the province. The Ontario Community Infrastructure Fund is part of this commitment. We're providing funding for critical road, bridge, water, and wastewater revitalization projects. To date, 100 of these critical infrastructure projects have been approved through the application-based fund for a total investment of $174 million. Recently, in our 2016 budget, we announced that funding for this important program will be tripled from $100 million per year to $300 million per year by 2018-2019. We have heard loud and clear from municipal representatives that you need predictable, stable funding, and our government has listened to that. Now, $200 million of this expanded program is going to be in the form of predictable, formula-based funding. The additional $100 million will flow to communities in the form of application-based funding. And this is going to allow municipalities, both big and small, to receive the investments that they need to revitalize and to build critical infrastructure projects. And that's why we're here today. I'm pleased to announce that the government is going to be providing the town of Minto with up to $1.3 million to reconstruct sections of Jane Street and Inkerman Street. This project includes water main and sewer line replacement, road rehabilitation, and is one of 59 approved projects across the province that are going to receive the new funding. Uh, recently, listening to Toronto Radio, the Mayor of Toronto, John Tory, was being asked about sewers, and he said, I, I know that, uh, well, the, the interviewer said, uh, you know, sewers isn't very sexy. He says, oh, no, no. Sewers, for me, he says, is a very sexy topic. He says, I'm having heart palpitations now, knowing that I'll be, be able to deal with this and to repair sewers in my city. So Ontario is also providing Minto with $1.9 million to improve road safety and create jobs through the Connecting Links program. The work includes reconstruction of Alora Street in Clifford. These improvements will enhance the safe and efficient movement of traffic on the Connecting Link. This program is one way that we're showing our long-term commitment to Ontario's rural communities and to the families who do live there. One of the main goals of infrastructure investment is to make our communities safer, healthier, and stronger. And we're doing this by ensuring that people across the province have a chance to succeed and benefit from a sustainable foundation for success. 
and we are making smart investments to create a business-friendly climate that will help attract new businesses, create well-paying jobs, and provide a foundation for long-term economic growth. I am a firm believer that a strong, healthy Ontario requires strong, healthy, and economically vibrant rural communities, and we're working to make this happen. Whether it's retrofitting or expanding an existing business, promoting local products or attracting investment, our government's economic development opportunities are there for rural Ontario. We're going to continue to be committed to building a competitive and robust rural communities in Ontario. And with this process, we're strengthening your community here in Minto for success for today and in the future. You can count on it. Thank you all very much. Thank you. I'd now like to call on Mayor George Bridge to bring remarks on behalf of the town of Minto. Thanks, Belinda and Diane. I didn't realize that you have a cottage of Southampton. We have a cottage in Cardin, so yeah. Right, and and you had to go through our nice digging it project last year. That's right. Yeah. Well, Belinda actually, uh, and some people in this room, we won an award at the Ed EDCO uh, conference for uh, the best collaboration on getting something done like that. So, Fantastic. and that that was yeah. a, with the County of Wellington and whatnot. A couple of little things I want to give you, as you were just mentioning, you don't know what the weather's going to be. <laughs> so as you may or may not be aware, we're driving past Tividale. You probably saw the big sign. We're having the international plowing match next year. So I've got some new oh, nice fantastic. gloves for you and you can uh, have those. Now, Wonderful. also because it could be spring. <laughs> this is a this is a uh, umbrella from the plowing match. I'm sure you'll be at yeah, the plowing match. Absolutely. I know uh, Premier Wynn's going to be there. I've already got a tractor lined up for her. You know, they put us on this tractor and they drag us around. And I have to say that everything that I do through the entire calendar year, the plowing match is my absolute favorite. You just get to relax and sit on this hay wagon and, and ride around and wave at people. And it's just so Yeah, and it's, it's going to be a lot of fun this year. Yeah. And because we're so proud of our square donuts. Oh. Harrison oh, Bakery wonderful. Donuts. I got six there for you for your travels. I know oh you're doing a, quite a bit of thank running you. around. Thank you. This and, will be my sustenance today. Yeah. And I, you know what? Maybe the camera wants to take a picture. Sure. Well, well, I'll just, I, I'll just get a couple other comments I want to make, and then we'll get some photos. Um, you talked a bit about connecting links, yes. and and we were very instrumental of, of talking to the government and saying we really need the connecting links program. One of the ones was Clifford because we couldn't afford to fix it with our infrastructure dollars without the connecting links program coming back, coming back. And I'm so glad that the uh, the premier and uh, uh, a few of the ministers we went and talked to looked at that and it brought it back and now I was really excited at Good Roads that we're going to increase it and that's a good investment that 1.9 million and I know that's we feel very proud that we're getting that much money from the province but it's not just for us as you and you're well aware we about 6,600 vehicles go through Clifford every day and on the weekends close to 20,000 so it's not just it, well, we talk about connecting links that's what it is it's connecting all our people from all the cities up to their cottages and everywhere else so I'm, I'm glad the, the province has seen that and they've and certainly come to the forefront with that. Um, Clifford, by the way, is a very small place, but unbeknownst to a lot of people, there's 22,000 people in their trading area. So they have a lot of area that they, they draw people into. So we're really looking forward to Clifford being done. Um, the other, the other thing, uh, I, we've talked about it. I know, uh, Justin Trudeau talked about it at FCM and I know, uh, Premier Wynn's talked about it about the 9% and 60%. We all know the infrastructure thing. And I love the fact that we're starting to do that sustainable infrastructure yeah. and that we're moving some of that money from a project base so we can do more planning at the local level. So I really appreciate your government listening to us and through Good Roads and through AMO and coming up with these new efforts. And as together as partnerships as we've seen today, we can get a lot done. Can I say too that your community is very lucky to have you steering at the helm because uh, you're there advocating. You're a loud, clear voice. We've heard you and uh, your community is well served. So I congratulate and commend you for, for what you do. Well, thank you very much. And it's a lot of these people in this room that's done that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Now we can. You got anything else? Just that concludes. Okay. Why don't we do some pictures? Sure. That'd be great. That concludes the announcement and MPC version is available for questions. Yeah.
screen. Oh, you never had those? I'm just getting a sugar high. Look at that.